So let me get started. So uh, my name is Wen Xiaopan, and right now I'm a professor with the computer science department of uh, National Yami Zhejiang University. I think uh, Lin just uh, talk uh, say a few words about our university. And uh, if you're interested, uh, you can uh, visit uh, uh, the web page of our lab, uh, which is uh, put here. So I have uh, just uh, two slides to talk about myself. Right now, I'm also a director, the director of the Institute of Data Science in NYCU. So if you are interested in conducting research related to data science, you are more than welcome to come to NYCU and also talk to me. And in the meantime, I'm also the director of the Computer Vision Research Center in NYCU. And I also work closely with the University of Washington in the United States. Actually, NYCU has a joint research lab in the AI area uh, with uh, UW in uh, USA. And about uh, seven or eight years ago, I went to IBM T.J. Watson for my one year sabbatical. And ever, uh, after I returned from IB and TJ Watson, uh, I changed my research focus a bit. Now I introduce a lot of uh, deep learning and also machine learning uh, to my uh, research work. So this is like simply summarize my professional activity in IEEE. As you can see that I actually uh, have a lot of activity in IEEE. For example, I was recently uh, appointed the EIC of uh, this uh, IEEE uh, journal. And also I used to be the chair of a technical committee in the IEEE. And right now I'm still uh, a distinguished lecturer uh, of the IEEE case society. So I actually uh, need to give talk uh, around the world and also to share uh, with people about my uh, research work. So it's my pleasure to be here uh, to quickly give you an idea about what uh, my research group uh, has been doing. So this uh, uh, slide actually summarizes uh, the main uh, research area of my uh, la research lab. So you can see that uh, we work on learning-based image and video compression. Uh, actually, uh, this is the kind of technology that try to use neural network to do image and video compression. Later, I will give you a little bit more detail about uh, this part. And we have invested uh, quite a lot of effort uh, doing uh, image and video compression, particularly uh, based on uh, using a neural network. And we have also published quite a few papers in those uh, really prestigious uh, conferences, uh, such as uh, CVPR and ECCV and also ICCV. And more recently, we started to uh, work on uh, visual signal processing and computer visions. Actually, I collaborate with uh, quite a few uh, people from around the world uh, working on uh, visual signal processing and computer vision. And I, my research group uh, also has published uh, quite a few paper in those uh, uh, top tier uh, conferences, such as ICCV, WACV, and uh, CVPR. Just for your information, uh, these uh, top uh, prestige, I mean, these uh, top tier conferences now have a very uh, low acceptance rate. The acceptance rate can be as low as like 25% uh, uh, or even uh, lower. So it's uh, really uh, very difficult to get uh, your idea published in those uh, top conferences. And I'm truly very proud of uh, uh, my uh, lab member. Uh, they have uh, done a very good job in having their paper published in these uh, top conferences. And also uh, we work with the uh, people from around the world, like uh, I just mentioned a few minutes ago. So these are the university uh, I work closely with. Actually, we have uh, quite a few uh, joint research projects with them. And also we work with the people from uh, industry, uh, not only a company in Taiwan, but also uh, some company uh, in USA, like you can see that uh, those are uh, quite uh, famous uh, company in the United States. So uh, my research group has been an active contributor to this ISO IEC video coding standard. Uh, you can imagine that you probably won't be able to talk with your friend through uh, FaceTime or uh, uh, YouTube or uh, Zoom if uh, you don't have uh, this kind of uh, compression technology. So basically, uh, this uh, video uh, 
coding standard committee has defined quite a few video coding standard that find application in many products you are using today. So this slide just summarizes uh, some of uh, the products that are using uh, the video coding standard or image coding standard developed by the standard committee I just mentioned. And we, like I say, we are an active contributor to this uh, uh, video coding standard. This was a, this is a group photo we took uh, when we attended uh, the standard meeting in China. Uh, this is, uh, mm -hmm. I guess, uh, this uh, meeting took place uh, just uh, 10 or 15 years ago. And now uh, we actually change our focus uh, to be more on the so-called AI-based uh, image coding. Uh, this is uh, a, a new standardization project developed by uh, JPEG AI. Uh, I think uh, most of you should be quite familiar with the JPEG, which is uh, uh, the image compression standard uh, often used uh, in a camera or even in your smartphone. Now, this standard uh, committee tried to define a learning-based image coding standard uh, by April next year. So basically, uh, you will see a new coding standard that use a neural network to do uh, image compression. And in particular, uh, this uh, coding standard can actually compress image not only for a uh, human perception, but also for machine perception, meaning that the, the compressed image may be suitable for uh, down, any downstream computer vision task. And uh, I would say the learning-based compression is now a hard research topic. Actually, company like the media tech Google or Netflix invest uh, quite a lot of effort in this area. For example, Google has been organized a challenge at the CVPR, which is uh, one of the top tier a computer vision conference. So they basically try to push uh, the, the frontier of uh, this kind of uh, neural network-based uh, compression technology. And this slide just show you that uh, our research group actually uh, has contributed uh, a lot to advancing uh, the frontier of uh, this uh, new technology. For example, we participate in a challenge organized by the IEEE and our technology actually win the top performance award. Now, uh, let me uh, switch uh, to my uh, research. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, so uh, if you're interested, you can actually uh, say uh, visit uh, our uh, web page. I think uh, you can just uh, input the maple.institute.edu.tw and then there is a research tab. You can simply click on this research tab. Uh, from there, you can actually find the research uh, project page for all the work uh, we have been we, we have done and in particular for example if you visit the one of the research page this actually show you uh, some video demo that will be presented uh, at the iccv uh, this year so this is uh, i would say the first uh, continuous scale of video super resolution uh, net neural network so uh, it's quite interesting to see that uh, with our technology, you, you can see that uh, the video produced uh, shown on the right-hand side can show much better quality than the video you see on the left-hand side. And also this is an interesting project done by a PhD student in my lab. And that PhD student is actually an Indian uh, student. He's an international student. So here we try to use a millimeter wave radar to detect a human pose. As you can see that uh, this kind of technology actually allow you to uh, see uh, the human pose even in the so-called uh, adversarial condition. For example, in low, under low light conditions. And also I think uh, more recently uh, we started to look at uh, uh, the technology, the image compression technology that can actually produce uh, decoded images suitable for computer vision task. So like I say, uh, now we can actually use neural network to compress image. And in particular, uh, the decoded image are suitable not only for human consumption, but also for uh, machine task. This is also a work that will be presented uh, at ICCV uh, this year.
And uh, I guess uh, this is another work uh, we did a few years ago. This work was also published uh, at the ICCV. You can see that uh, we try to do video prediction. This is the kind of technology that allow you to predict into the future and also try to uh, predict uh, those uh, uh, video frame at the future time instances based on only a number of video frame uh, you have observed. We also do a lot of work related to uh, image processing. For example, in this case, we try to do some kind of video rescaling. And, and this is actually a joint work uh, by uh, Professor Huang, who will uh, speak uh, a few minutes later. So with this, I hope uh, you can get a rough idea about my research work and also just for advertisement uh, at the ICCV this year, which will take place uh, in Paris in October. Actually, I will be giving a tutorial talk later on this end-to-end uh, -end learn image and video compression. And you can also see uh, on this uh, web page, uh, we now uh, have a hardware on FPGA that can actually do a neural uh, network based uh, image compression in real time. This is actually a work done by my colleague in Japan. So uh, I would say this is a very interesting uh, research area. And I also hope that uh, some of you would uh, consider uh, coming to uh, NYCU and also uh, join uh, my research lab to conduct research together with uh, uh, my lab member. And also to give you a rough idea of uh, what it is like to receive, for example, your PhD degree from my uh, research lab. So this is the publication list. And uh, this uh, publication was done by uh, my former PhD student who received uh, his uh, PhD degree just last year. So in order to receive a PhD degree, you really need to uh, show that uh, your work uh, is worth uh, publishing uh, in those uh, top tier journal and also uh, conferences. And uh, actually, uh, this uh, student received uh, a very good uh, uh, package from those uh, top tier uh, company, uh, both in uh, Taiwan and also in the United States. So uh, we are right now recruiting PhD and master's students who are interested in doing research related to image processing machine and deep learning and also computer vision. And you should expect that uh, you can receive a monthly stipend of around 1,000 $1, US uh, dollars per month. And in order to uh, join our lab, I would encourage that uh, you visit our research uh, website and also try to read one of our recent publication, particularly those publication uh, after 20, uh, 2020. And also, I would encourage you to send me 10 slides summarizing uh, your study and also your understanding of our work. And then I will uh, schedule an interview with you to see uh, how we should proceed from here. So this is pretty much all I have to say. Lin. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Professor Pan.